Welcome back, everybody, to Pull Hook Golf, the podcast. I'm your host, Matt Cook, and tonight we've got a very special guest, golf influencer, comedian, model. I mean, you name it, he doesn't. Good old Butsy. Oh, we're going to be talking to him in just a second, and we're going to dive in. But before we do, just know that this is the Waste Management Open Special. And if you're not enjoying some nice Bushwood spirits, then don't d- d- join at all, I guess. I mean, I don't know why I just stuttered, but uh, that was fantastic. <laughs> and also, I do want to thank uh, good old Swannies. So I'm wearing the Swannies jacket tonight. Last week, I had it on, and I'm like, you know, what am I going to wear tonight? with the Botsy for the Waste Management Open Special. I don't got a whole lot of green stuff from Swanee, so I was like, you know what? The jacket tonight. We've also got the pull hook hat here, um, which we've got on the table as well. Mm -hmm. So make sure, folks, take advantage of the promo code PullHookGolf25 at checkout at swannies.co. Get 25% off your entire order. Bushwood, use pull hook. Get 10% off your Bushwood Spirits order. And then also, folks, go to saucegolf.com. Use promo code PULLHOOK50 and get 50% off of those awesome towels. Uh, Buzzy, i got to show you at some point. It's not tonight, but if we get out on the golf course, I'm going to show you this thing from Sauce Golf yes, that is absolutely fantastic. They have a koozie with a handle. And on the inside, it's a microfiber towel. Oh my so god! So when you take a beer out to go mark your ball, because sure. who doesn't mark their ball with a beer? Right. I mean, it's a fantastic idea. Mm-hmm. Then from there, you can actually clean your golf ball using the microfiber towel on the inside that is moist. It's moist in there because of the condensation. It's absolutely brilliant, Josh. Let's get to know you, man, because you're the butsy. You're I the am. man, the I'm myth, him. the legend. Oof. So tell me, I mean, how did you get started in this golf game? Oh, man, uh, we're going back better half of a decade, to be honest with you, um, before Golf Influencer was a thing, and uh, Instagram allowed you to post photos. Uh, that was about it. There was no video or anything like that. So I uh, chose to drink my beer at Papago Golf Club. Ah, uh, good old Papago. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, I would go out there on Fridays after work, sit in the cart barn, shoot the shit with guys coming off the course, getting to know the boys. We become good friends. Well, one of them had started a page. His name's Kyle. Uh, he runs the cart barn guys page. And uh, through a bunch of uh, good times and making jokes and blah, 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 uh, he would dangle a mic. Uh, and he did this for, <laughs> I don't know, um, like a week he's dangling the mic i'm there right i said no i'm not doing it i'm not into that like i'm not gonna I, social media is dumb you know i'm older so this, yeah. we're, we're on the forefront of this so one day i do it I said, what do you want me to do and he's like dude put the mic in your pocket mic up go over by the chipping green i'm gonna set up my phone and we're just gonna film you and just go do what you do i was like i don't know what you mean but uh so anyways we started putting out what was what we bleh, what would be called lessons with butsy and we dropped those every Friday, and uh, we did that for a couple years, and all of a sudden, the following came on, and people started sending me free shit, and next thing you know, it's like, all right, I'm an influencer, I guess, and uh, this <laughs> Fell is in your lap. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, that's what we did. That's kind of how it started, if you will, and uh, here we are. Love that. I mean, so, obviously, you get with Kyle, you're at Papa Go, you're yep. just hanging around, he's dangling a mic in front of your face, yeah. and next thing you know, you're getting free shit sent to you, and you're a golf influencer. Exactly. I mean, not that you chose that path, but you really have embraced it. Absolutely, man. I, I have, uh, uh, this has given me an opportunity to meet people that I, I never would have met. I mean, my God, fast forward two years after that, and I found myself in John Daly's backyard. Um, can't even believe it. I'm hanging out with John Daly. Well, why did that happen? <laughs> well, because you put dumb fucking videos out on Instagram and somehow, some way, here you are. So, yeah, it's been worth it. I've met some really good people along the way and uh, we're going to keep going. I, I absolutely love it. I think it's, I mean, your stuff is hilarious, especially the Papago stuff to when you would just go up behind a guy, let him know that, oh, I'm just waiting on your spot. <laughs> And some of those videos, I absolutely die. The range videos yes, are absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. So that's how you got into it. Yeah. I mean, tell me a little bit about your actual golf game, though. I mean, what are we, what are we dealing with here? Oh, man. Um, well, just like you, I think we can both agree we're both addicted to the game. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I found it at about 12 years old. I was playing baseball at the time, switched over, golf, hit a golf shot, hit one good, 
permanently hooked. Uh, that would lead into um, eight to ten hours a day, seven days a week, completely psychotically addicted, and I got pretty good at it. Ended up playing high school golf, played some junior college golf, and even played a little bit of mini tour golf. And now I'm kind of a has been of that, which you know we all still think we can play, right? And, oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, you know I the mean, game's there, but um, it's somewhere. It, it varies, man. I could I can shoot 68 or I can shoot 88, and I'm sure you can relate to that. It's 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 a, <laughs> I really can. It's a you should look at my gin. There. I mean, my gin is literally <laughs> for the past like seven months. It's all in the 80s, and it yet looks like somebody's suffering from I, cardiac arrest. I was but. a plus point <laughs> five for the longest time. I'm like this gin shit isn't working out for me. I exactly. <laughs> Yes. That one fucking 68 and a couple of even pars, and it's mm -hmm. like, God damn it. So, yeah, you ask me how the game is, that that's it. Uh, it can be really good or it can be really fucking bad, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. But, uh, yeah, I love the game, and I will uh, probably die playing the game. So, All right, so, I mean, you're telling me that you're a stick. I feel like I'm still a stick in Sometimes. a lot of ways, and I definitely think we got to get out there at some point. We have to. We have to trade money. I mean, we have to beat the shit out yeah. of each other. That's 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 a bond, right? Yeah. Like that's 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 how you become really good friends. That's how you become golf Eskimo brothers, right there. Swapping Literally, money back and forth. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So really excited about that. Yes, sir. I can't wait. <laughs> but let's get into now what we are here for. Yes. We have a very special week. We are going to break down the Waste Management Phoenix Open in a way that I don't think has ever been done before. Hasn't been done on subpar. Hasn't been done on four play. It's going to be done on pole hook golf right now. And here we go. There are three different levels to the People's Open. So mm -hmm. for anybody that has not been to the People's Open, which is one of my favorite golf tournaments. I've been going since I was like 13 years old because I came out to visit my grandma who moved out here, and she's like, oh, there's a PGA Tour event going on. And I was like, Grandma, I'd love Such to go. Such an understatement. Would love to go. Yes. She drops me off. I go by myself. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, yeah. So when it comes to knowing the <laughs> Waste Management Open, and that was just the Phoenix Open back then. Yeah. It wasn't as crazy as it is today, but the People's Open, here we go. So there's three different levels to it. We've got the golf fan, like the real golf fan who is there to see some golf. We've got the party animals, and we've got the fashionistas. So these are going to be our three main segments that we're yes. going to spend some time on. We're going to swap some stories here. We're going to get real comfortable in a few minutes. And then I just want to ask you, before we dive into those specific topics, uh -huh. do you think this is where Liv got the idea? There's no question. I mean, right? There's no question. It's, it's not refutable. Like, it, it's 100% facts. They took the most brilliant uh, fan entertaining event, which uh, it's this. Yeah. This is it. Um, and they attempted to replicate it at every event that they play. This it, is the People's Super Bowl. Yes, sir. Yes, During sir. the Super Bowl. Yep. So, you are absolutely right. Yeah, it's just ironic. No question. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. let's start with the golf fan. We're gonna start, <laughs> we're gonna start easing into this. All right. So we're gonna start with the golf fan. The golf fan. What is your recommendation? For the golf fan, and I've got some ideas around this as well, but I want to get your take real quick. Well, you say the golf fan. We're talking the guy that... Doesn't want to have to deal with the music, doesn't want everybody, like, sloshed around him. Where does he go? And you can spot this guy, right? Oh, absolutely. There's He's got good the golf chance. clothes on. He's wearing golf shoes. I've even seen people <laughs> wear golf gloves or have one in their back pocket. You ever seen like, the metal spikes, though? Get out of town, I dude. mean... When somebody's clicking down the cart path <laughs> and they're at a golf tournament, what are you doing, sir? They might but, be doing something special. But I love that. He's devout. He loves the game. <laughs> That's his deal. Uh, the golf fan, man. Um, so this guy is probably trying, and especially at the Waste Management Phoenix Open, he's trying to get as far away. He's trying to find a refuge. He's trying to find as few people as possible and attempt to, if he can, watch some golf. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. He's going out to 13. He's he's getting there. Uh, when the gates open at 7, everybody's going to 7, or everybody's going to 16. His ass, he's gone. Gone. He's going to the farthest part of the golf course gone. you can go. There's no bars. There's nothing around. He's going to sit on a hill, and he's going to watch his favorite player come <laughs> through. That's him. He's got his chair. Yes. He is ready to go. Oh, he's go. got the three-pronged chair. For he didn't sure. rent it. Yep. I mean, this guy bought it at Costco ages ago. Dial. Like, there are logos on that chair that you would not know today, folks. He has a tournament loadout. Yeah. He, he literally, if you will, uh, he's got shit that he has prepared. So 
That's the golf fan. And just to describe this for you guys, so the 13th hole is about as far away yes. from the clubhouse as you can get. Yes. Basically, all the partying goes on around once you enter. That is kind of the main area. You can get out a few holes here and there. I mean, 16, obviously, which is behind us, becomes an absolute madhouse. But Ugh. 18 has really become the party spot for the majority of the golf fans. We'll be talking about that in just a second. You're absolutely right. However, this golf guy, I got to get back to him because he either goes straight out to 13 or he picks a group. And he's like, this is the group that I am going to follow today. I am following this group devoutly Devout. all day. And, man, do, when they get around the big crowds, they just, you can look at their face they have and a, tell they, that they they're disgusted. They have a shit disgust. face. They have a shit face. They're they, disgusted. They hate everybody else that's there. I'm pretty sure they have the exact same face when they're on the toilet in the morning. 100%. Just pushing it out. Pushing out a may, rotten log. Maybe yes. some diarrhea going on. <laughs> Well, yeah. depending. I mean, yeah. I don't know. We'll I mean, talk. I've seen the faces out there. They get real angry at the loudness. Yes. So this guy is absolutely, yeah. He he hates the common man. <laughs> uh, he hates the average tournament goer. Now, we talked about this before we started this tonight. And we said, how many people are going to the waste management and actually going there to watch golf? Uh, you said 20. I, I said, said 20%. I went. I made. I made up a weird number. I said sixteen to eighteen percent. Yeah, you got real specific. I did. Gave a little range. Well, I think. I think that's pretty spot on. And uh, like you said, you can spot these motherfuckers. And pardon my language, but no, it's they perfect. are obvious as day, and they are fuck staying those away motherfuckers. From the crowd. But what's weird <laughs> is they huddle together. It's like it's like a little group of gnats, and they're all wearing golf shoes. And they're out on 13. <laughs> my God, folks, are their golf shirts tucked in? Don't oh. think that this oh, is no. like they're, they're untucked. They are tucked in. They've got a white belt. They're for ready sure. To, they're ready to play. For sure. Or if they're like 75 years old, they've got like that old alligator brown belt. Yes. Oh, lovely. Yes, yes sir. Lovely. Above I mean, the belly. Pure class. Yep. They, they might even have some socks that come up to their calves. 1,000. Fucking hate that look. Oh, That's a terrible Lord. look. Yep. They're waiting for a flood. They're always prepared. <laughs> so now, with that being said, the golf fan, and as we go through this, this is for you, the golf fan. I'm sorry, we're picking on you a little bit, but but we love you. At the end of the day, let's break down the field a little bit because we've got quite a few Scottsdale guys yep. that now are at the top of golf because some of the guys ended. Well, actually, we lost a lot of Scottsdale well, we guys to live golf here. too, sorry. but we we kept a few. <laughs> uh, so the Scottsdale guys, we've got Max Homa. We've got Wyndham Clark. We've got Tony Finau, Joel Damon. I almost forgot to put Joel on this, but then I saw the Netflix flyer, and he's all the way in the goddamn back. Mm -hmm. He's, like, sitting back there like, uh, no big deal. No right. big deal. Right. Rory's up front in his stance. You got Joel back there just like common man. Common exactly. Man. I'm just kind of watching. I'm just kind of, I belong. Yeah. Kevin Streelman and then Aaron Baddeley. Now, we do not know if Kevin Streelman's going to be playing. He pulled out of the Farmer's Insurance Open Did because he? pulled a little muscle in the back. Disappointing to see. And uh, it's one of those soft tissue deals. So you never <laughs> know when he's going to be able to get back on the golf course. He wants to be back for the Scottsdale people. And that's what I was talking about. Seeing him, there was a guy out there last he year. He loves this. Loves it. Yes. But there was a guy yelling, Kevin! 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 I know your cousin! <laughs> like, just screaming at him uh, on no, the 10th day. <laughs> and, like, he did not, he didn't break form. Did not break form. I'm like, he didn't acknowledge he's it. He's got earplugs in. Well, 100%. That's part of the deal, right? You got to. Yeah, they, they have that. But so if he plays, fantastic. He always plays pretty well there. And then here's the other ones. So I'm going to leave. Two Scottsdale guys for past champions. Okay. Because there are a couple guys that won. Kay. So we've got some past champions. We've got Scotty Scheffler. Hideki Masuyama. Masuyama. Ha. Hi. Hi. So he plays pretty well there. So then we got past winners <laughs> <laughs> once again. Gary Woodland. Good old Woodland is just a little fade in there, folks. So just if you ever want to drop that in while you're playing some golf, if you see a nice little drop in coming from, well, which side of the ball are you playing on? You mean me personally? Yeah, you personally. Well, some, I mean, some would say the wrong side. Okay. I, I thought you were lefty. In, in all reality, uh, you guys are fucking idiots. Uh, <laughs> it's the right side. I don't know if so, you know that. <laughs> so for me, it would be a little drop into the right. <laughs> for you, it would be a little drop in from the left. Yes. And you just call a little woodland on those, okay? A little woodland. So just drop that into the group the next time you're playing. G -dub. And then good old Aaron Baddeley, which, I mean, my God, he's in the field. I haven't seen much How of him. How old is Aaron Baddeley? 
He's got to be getting up there. Forty. Yeah, at least forty-five. Yeah. But he's a, but he's his hair's fantastic. Oh my god! Long, I'm, straight. I'm of the belief that he wouldn't wear shoes if he didn't have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I watched this oh guy god. hit balls one day at True Spec Golf. Yeah. yeah, no shoes on. Let me get fit for a driver and dig my toenails into the turf. So, oh my god! Anyway, I never thought weird. of him as a surfer in the desert. He is a hundred percent that guy. He's got sharpened nails, so he can dig into the turf. Anyways, mm, mm. we'll get there later. So go on. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> now that you say it, fucking love that. So. <laughs> We got, and then I saw this one, and I just about lost my mind. Sure. Because I, re- I remember when his dad played. Kevin Stadler's going to be out there. Just an absolute. Guys, oh. if you're not familiar with Kevin Stadler. Oh. So this guy loses it. His dad used to lose it. Oh. He he was one of the absolute greatest personalities yes, on the sir. PG Tour. Yes, sir, he was. And Kevin kind of followed suit, but Kevin was just angry, I feel like, in a lot of ways. Had a chip. Just, yeah, he was just, like, dropping a lot of F-bombs yep. out there, tossing some clubs around. I mean, giving us some good Matt Every vibes because... Fun side real quick. Yeah. I saw him out at the Plantation Golf Course in Palm Desert playing with some guys. He came in. And I said, it's a pleasure to meet you, Colt Nost. <laughs> Did not like that at all. <laughs> Let me that tell was, you. Uh, Sorry, that go bush, ahead. That bush would taste good going down. I apologize. And it <laughs> smells he pretty good coming through your nose. He looked at me like, so, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Holy so, shit. So, anyways, go I on. mean, I got, you got some balls <laughs> there, Buttsy. Well, absolutely. I, I don't care. I think it's hilarious. We got to do it. That's fucking great. And then we Thank got you. some big names. We got some big names. Yes, sir. We got Jordan Spaeth. Yep. You know, he's going to be talking to his ball out there. Some drunk people are going to be like, why is that guy talking to himself? Don't know. That's what he does. Yeah, loves it. Justin Thomas, one of the great needlers of the game. Oh, my God. I was Lord. talking about this with Lance Bennett last week to where he's a PGA Tour caddy. Uh, he caddied for Kuchar for close to 10 years. Yes, sir. And literally, he's like, one of the best needlers is Justin Thomas. But the best needler of all is Tiger Woods. Oh, and. The oh. funny thing is, nobody who is just like watching golf on TV mm-hmm. will ever notice this. The tampon deal, loved it. But that is not like Tiger on a private club with just the boys. I have heard so many great one liners from best him of that you just can't put on unless you're on a pay per view. Like he's the best at it. Like, no, he is the best he at it. He owns it. Yeah. You can't say shit. No. Because it's Tiger. But Justin Thomas is following in his footsteps yes. and is right there with him. So great to see Justin Thomas playing well, by the way, again. Yeah. Kudos to him and shout out. Victor, I might take Justin this week. Actually. I know. I really, I actually really I like that. I got a feeling about yeah. him. I really do. Listen, he's playing well at Pebble right now. So What a tournament to win for him. Oh my God, it would be Sorry. great. Go on. I mean, the people's open. He's this, a people's kind of guy. Yes. Now, and then are we going to let Minwoo Lee cook this week? I wonder. That's his, that's kind of his thing, that's right? That's his thing. Yeah, let, let him, him cook. cook. He's yeah. kind of taken that on. That, he really like, has. That, that's yeah. his personality now. I don't know if he his family owns a hibachi shop or something. Not that's sure. what I thought. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought. I'm like, oh, he's a chef. Yeah, you own a hibachi grill somewhere. I get it. We're, yeah. we're throwing shrimp at people. That's why he's got strong hands. See, you yeah. know. Yeah. You absolutely get it. And that's why he bombs the ball, folks. Strong <laughs> he, hands, strong he wrists. He actually does bomb. He does. He secretly bombs it. He's one of the longer like guys on tour. 62 pounds soaking wet and absolutely yeah. shits on the golf ball. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And an underrated mullet. Underrated. Business in the front, party in the back. Uh, a tale as old as time. All day, every day. Mm-hmm. So, who are you most, after it, li- <laughs> listing out all those guys, <laughs> who are you most excited to see this year, Butsy? Is Tom Kim playing? God, I don't know. I he's one of my favorite players, though. He's my guy. Tom Kim is my guy. So if he's playing this week, he's my guy. Love that. Uh, I actually I'm jealous right now that you brought him up. He's and just I did him. Not, but I've got. <laughs> uh, Sorry, didn't mean to throw a curveball. Jesus at you. Christ! I apologize. I mean, throw me for a loop right there. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't even on the goddamn list, and all of a sudden you throw in good old Tommy. You Kim. have to. Oh shit, Tom Kim, love you. Um, yeah, and I can't believe Joe Scavern left his bag for Oberg or Auberg, Aberg, like literally on the broadcast today. Mm-hmm. Every announcer called him a different last name. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> they said, Can you o- recite this? Oberg, which I have heard is Holberg? the c- Oberg. So the A with silent, the A with the two little dots on top, <laughs> those two little fuck marks, <laughs> those are apparently like it softens it the A. It means something. It means, oh, Berg. 
Angel Bird. It's like Shoulder. Angel Bird. So I don't, I'm not quite sure, Very to good. be quite honest with you, yeah. as to what the fuck it is. But um, I don't even know if he's playing this. I think he is playing this week. That is too funny. Uh, but that's going to be great to uh, yes, sir. finally get a pronunciation correct for him. And then, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to go to old Max Homa. You know, I don't get to now, see Max there Homa you go. Now, there yeah. you go. There you go. I'm Max a homer Homa. right now. Well. For Homa. Max Homa is a really good golfer. <laughs> yeah. There is a very good chance that uh, he lights up in this atmosphere and loves the people. And I think he does like the people. You know, There's a lot of guys that say they do, but. He does. That's a game. He actually does. He Which, thrives on it. He's a great Twitter personality. And what's crazy? This Twitter world is fucking nuts. He mur- it's nuts. He's he's undefeated on Twitter. <laughs> yes, he is. I need some more fucking bush. Dude, pour we're, up. We're because good. Max Homa is fucking undefeated on Twitter. He ruins people's lives on Twitter. Oh, people! Yeah, he really does. He kind of he dances um, around. He like looks at it for a month and he goes, "I'm gonna make a comment." Yeah. And then he does. And then he destroys. And it's like the Lord has spoken. <laughs> Like, Max Homer just destroyed somebody else and 15,000 other people that were standing behind it. Yeah. So Most yes. of the time you go, you hate to see somebody's life get destroyed, but in this case, you love to see Max it. Max Homer, destroyer of worlds. You love to see destroyer it. Destroyer of worlds. Yeah, yes, absolutely sir. love it. So there you go, folks. That's who we're looking forward to. Good old Tommy Kim over here with Butsy. Tom and uh, I'm a Homer Homer guy, so... Uh, no, really we don't know if Tom Kim's to competing in this we, we, we don't, but if, <laughs> he, okay. if he is, Bonzi's going to lose his mind out there. I'm going to lose my money, yeah. too, because uh. I'm betting on him. So, anyways, <laughs> carry on. Uh, and then, uh, apparently, the the weather could be a factor. So I heard Thursday and Friday are going to be shit. Yeah, real cold. Yeah, the Maybe morning rain, rounds. Right? So, pay attention to the, uh, the pairings and tea times, folks. Because if you get kind of a mid-morning and then a mid-afternoon type of setup on uh, yes. Thursday, Friday. That could be bode really well to some good golf. Now a quick word from our sponsor. Swanee's is here with a fresh take. Performance-based materials are a given these days. But if you're looking for the stretchiest and most lightweight pieces that deliver a look that says, I'm here for a good time, take a walk on the Swanee side. With fabric sourced from recycled plastics and designs sourced from our very own weekend warriors, Swannies is looking out for both our planet and those that need a little style to boost their drive another 15 yards. Premium looks from top to bottom at swannies.co. Now, do people really realize that that happens on the PJ Tour? Do they really realize, like, if you get a 705 versus a 1132, you are at such... Uh, an advantage like that plays yeah that plays yeah it really does so it does. because i've had so many caddies on yeah. they talk about it all the time guys are hitting so, balls under the lights in the morning yeah it's it's not good i mean you could really get fucked by a bad tea time mm-hmm. it, it happens and it happens a lot so beware of that folks when you're putting out your bets there you, you go know? uh and then betting wise I mean, you're going to be betting on Tom Kim. Is that your I'm Tom Kim. If he's in Dark Horse, he's just my guy. I think in the next 10 years, over the next 10 years, if I bet on him, uh, I'm going to win three or four times. Like, I think he's going to be a guy. I just think he's going to be a guy. I do. That's it. Wow. Okay. That's all. So if Tom Kim's playing, (laughs) (laughs) which, by the way, we don't know. We don't don't know if he's committed. It it was not in my prep. (laughs) I apologize. (laughs) You sent me the notes. I apologize. But I got to tell you, it's a hell of a pick. Hell of a pick. And if I miss Tom Kim on that list, I'm going to be mad at myself <laughs> because Tommy Kim is one of my absolute favorites. What a G. And I put in Min Woo Lee instead of him. I mean, come on, well, man. That's Get a, your that's shit one, together. But that's a wonderful pick as well. It's not bad. You got to let him cook. Yes, so sir. my pick is I'm actually stealing what you said. I'm going with Justin Thomas. Going to go with JT. JT's. Yeah. My dark horse, though. Dark horse. Tell dark me, horse. Who is it? I'm going to go Kevin Stadler. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't okay. think he's. I don't think there's a shot in hell, what folks. Are his but he's a, well. That's why he's a dark one? horse. I mean, but think of if? a dark horse. Well, here, check it out. Who does Nick Dunlap just won? What did he win? He won uh, the uh, out at uh, Palm Springs. He won the uh, oh god the Amex. So if you go back and look at DraftKings and you look at like winning as an amateur, I think it was like one point four million to one. Jesus Christ! Why did I not see? If you'd have put five bucks on him. <laughs> So, he, had, he, had a really, he shot 60 on Monday here's the before thing, right? the tournament. It's golf. Yeah. So, Stadler, I'm not, mm. not going to hate on that. 
No, you should because it's a dark horse. Well, it's a dark horse. You should say that's a terrible fucking pick, Matt. He might and I'm just gonna go six four six four and like. He's hey. won there before. It's his goal. He lives here. Yeah, it's his, it's his deal. Yeah, loves yeah. it. Yep. How about you? You got a dark horse? Don't throw out Tom Kim again. No, I've already, I mean, I've already thrown my dark horse. He kind of is the dark horse. Is Fowler playing? Ricky is. So, yep. um, one of my best friends is his caddy, also named Ricky, and uh, Joe Scover moved on. Has he won there? Joe Scover's no longer. Ricky's his caddy. won, right? At yeah. Phoenix. Uh, yes, he no. When did he win? Yes, he did. When yep. did he win? No, like, no, no. He's like five a, years ago. He's a past winner. Yeah, so it was about five he years ago. Would, uh, you can't really call him a dark horse because he's one of the best players in the game. But uh, I think that's okay. That I would be my dark long horse. Shot. Fowler's my dark horse. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And he's been playing well. Hasn't showed up yet. No, not yet this yeah. year. But Hasn't last been year. In the top three, top five, but he's my guy. I can't believe it, folks. We're getting to the <laughs> Here point. Here we go. We're, we're at now. This is the fun part of the show. If you haven't already realized that this is going to be a shit show in terms of. Uh, well, it already is. Yeah, I mean, and not in terms of bad. By the way, no, like God, this has been fantastic. I'm having about? an absolute blast. Me too. So here's the thing. Let's get into the party. This is for you, Chad. Okay, Chad. Oh, Chadwick. this is Chadwick. Where you're gonna be all week? This the is your first guy. time. Yeah, he's a freshman at ASU. Oh. He's going up with his frat buddies, and he wants to, you know, be the Chad to show them like this is what you do. I'm so far ahead in terms of my knowledge that we're going to do all of these things because I heard it on the Pole Hook Golf Podcast yep. with Matt and Butsy. Well, so here's, here's what you can count on. Yep. Get to it. If you roll in Saturday morning, you're probably going to see a couple chads left over from last night mm. that never left the grounds. Yeah. They're going to be asleep. They're on the ground. Um, <laughs> yeah, they have some it. sort of a mock turtle polo on. And some sort of Bermuda shorts that are cut at least four inches above the knee. Oh, that's your guy. That's Chad. They love that's the Chad. inseam. Yep. The boat shoe is still in. Oh, he's still wearing that. Didn't know that, dude. The boat shoe's still yeah. in. It hasn't gone anywhere. I thought I was relevant. That's I him. Guess. No socks. Smells like shit. That's your guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying in. I'm buying in. <laughs> that's Chad. <laughs> and there are a 1.8 billion of them at this golf tournament. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there are. How how what we did the percentage on the real golf fan. What's your percentage on <laughs> the Chad? Okay, so we said twenty percent on the. Real no, I'm golf going guy. with you. The sixteen to eighteen percent okay. sounds so All real. Right, so now you're gonna do math. Oh god. All right, let's say the next seven seven point three seventy four point oh seventy four seventy four point eight percent are the Chad guy. Wow. The party guy. You're not leaving a lot for the fashionistas. He's not aware of life. <laughs> he hasn't been alive very long. He's entering college, or maybe he goes to ASU. Yeah. And uh, he's in town, and, well, this is what we're supposed to do. Yeah. This is where we go. And the mistake, folks. This is where we make our money. Is trying to go to 16. <laughs> that is the biggest mistake that you can make is the chat, okay? So. You might you die. You think yeah, you might fall out of the stands. Yes. You might be the first death yes, sir. at the waste management. Yes, or you sir. might be the guy who's walking and he thinks he's walking a straight line, but only his legs are, and his top half is actually to the side. Well, that's called the, the CZZ. <laughs> Do you know what that is? No, please elaborate. That's the Chad Zigzag. Oh, the Chad Zigzag. Yeah, we might have just made that up, but it's a real thing. <laughs> it is. 100%. You will see these guys. If you don't see it, even the golf fan, as they're exiting, yes. they're going to see this. It is prevalent. It will happen. Yeah, people turn into zombies out there. They do. People I mean, don't realize. Yeah. I, I've seen a guy almost get stabbed because somebody thought he was a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I said, the guy almost gets stabbed. Yeah. Oh, my God. It just... Anyway, you got to watch out for those. Yeah, so yeah. there is going to be a bunch of uh, frat. Listen, go to the 18th <laughs> hole. The 18th hole is the new party hole because really you've is. got it. Really is. You've You're got right. Scottsdale right. nightclubs that have set sponsoring. up sponsoring full tents that have like I went to one and the, last year was the first time I've ever gone to one of the clubs. Fuck boys at 18th hole Come on a on Saturday. In. I thought I was having a seizure. <laughs> I didn't realize that they had strobe lights just blasting. And then the music. I mean, you think live golf is golf, but louder? Holy fuck. Bro, if it, it got any louder, my ears were going to bust. It's like, like literally they took Old Town, the essence of Old Town, they and did. they transplanted it 
to a golf tournament. One hundred and ten percent. That's what's going on out there. And if you've never been to this golf tournament or you live in the Midwest or whatever, this is happening. This yeah. is absolutely like it's it's hard to, to tell people. It is because it's so unfathomable. I took my wife it's last so year. It's so ridiculous. My wife from New York doesn't go to a lot of golf sure. tournaments, but I've taken her to a few. And all of a sudden I'm telling her, she goes, what should I expect? She's like, what should I dress like? Yeah. And I'm like, hon, that's the wrong question to ask me. I cannot <laughs> tell you what those women dress like out there because I do not want you in it. They might and be she naked. just she did not believe me. I tried explaining. I like gave her the heart to heart. I'm like, honey, you're gonna see naked women. You're gonna see naked women out there. No I promise you way. there's no chance. It's oh, cold yeah. outside. Oh, there's yeah. no way. Oh yeah. Hun? And as soon as we were leaving, her eyes were like she just went to Disneyland for Did the first time. Did she look time. at you like, you're... You, a legend. Wow. <laughs> holy shit. She's like, oh my God, you were telling me the truth. Only here, yeah. only in Scottsdale. It happens one time a year. It's a special thing. It is. It, it's the crazy... It's Part of it should probably be illegal. It really should. Like, I mean, we're going to get to the fashionistas in a second. Very good, very good. Very and good. my God... She was just blown away to where she wants to go every year now. Not, not because she <laughs> oh, wants she to dress. It. Oh, she loved. Because here's the thing: we're the from people we're from, we're from New York City. So oh, literally, I moved New back York out of here. City. Yeah, I went to Grand Canyon University, but yeah, then yeah. I went back to New York City. We end up meeting and everything, and then we moved back out. So the whole thing is that like we have seen everything. If you're from New York City, you have seen everything. You have seen pornos being filled in Times Square. <laughs> like you're just like you're numb to a lot of stuff. But she she did not expect this, this to go down. Is real I, and it's actually happening. Unbelievable action out there, and the people watching, and we're people watchers. Like if you live in New York City, you have to be a people. I don't want to. I don't want to like stew on this, but <laughs> it's absolutely true. What you see at this golf tournament is is like no other place you've ever been on earth, and it's happening, and somehow it's legal. And there's 500,000 people doing it. It should not be legal. No. Let's just put it that no, way. No. It should not be Saturday legal. afternoon at 3.30, if you're still on the grounds, like, there is some shit going down, and you're going, where are the cops? <laughs> like, this is not okay. <laughs> there's crimes going down. There are tits out. I mean, there, are, there, are, there are naked women it, running around. So, to the Chad, go to the 18th hole. <laughs> Go I to, love it. I love to, it. Yeah. Love it. Pump it I up. Fucking love it. I mean, you get the fist pumps going, <laughs> which, by the way, I have never stopped doing since I watched the Jersey Shore for the first time. Well, I was just did, like, dude, did? nobody. I mean, you have to give a good uh, fist pump. Uh, Tiger did. <laughs> Tiger gave a great fist bump. Uh, looks like it was up and around. Up anyway. and around. But, <laughs> okay. yeah, if, by the way, if you need a tutorial on a good fist pump, Follow up my YouTube page and around. I have something for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get over there to Matthew's page. Very good. Okay. Carry on. Carry so, on. I mean, we kind of hit it for the chat, but 16, by the way, unless you want to wait in this ridiculous oh, line my Lord. that never moves. Because people pee themselves once they get up into the stands here at 16, which, by the way, well, it is nuts. You have to do it at least once in your life. It's kind of like going on New Year's Eve to Times Square and standing there. What a lot of people don't realize, you're standing there at Times Square and you can't move. You're like a sardine in a little jar. Mm -hmm. And by the way, folks, yes, where do you defecate? Right there. Well, You piss right next to the person you're next if to. If I could. <laughs> There's something in Spain that happens, and it's called the running of the bulls. Oh, okay. love that you brought that up. And there's a lot of similarities because yeah. here's the deal, folks. The gates open at 7. So there are people literally camping out from 4.30. Maybe they're there from the night before. God knows who. And they're <laughs> 3,000 people deep, and they're all trying to get to 16 to get a spot for yeah. the day. And that fucking, it's like a NASCAR guy goes, Go! <laughs> Three people died last year. 100% have people actually not, that, died at the that, tournament? That's not Can real. confirm that? No. No. Okay. That's fake news, folks. I'm really, really sorry But I really that. can't believe it doesn't happen. <laughs> when that you fucking, would think. When that gate drops, yeah. they're on their way to 16. You and got, it's at 4 a.m. Dude. Yeah. 7 a.m. rolls around. Gates open. It's literally, if you can imagine, 60,000 people darting to a hole. It's an. I can't believe nobody's died. I know. Anyways. It's like it's like 
getting trampled by a million people. Yes, sir. Fall. It's Nobody's the Buffalo falling. Run. It's crazy. That's drunk people for you. You know, Scottsdale. Nobody, nobody falls when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta Very keep good. that. All right. This is the fashion show portion. So you said fashionistas, and you actually sent me the notes to this, <laughs> and and I read that, and I went, "What does he mean? What by is that? a fashionista?" And I'll let you kind of, because I I know I can speak to it, but I don't know exactly what you mm. mean. What mm. what is a fashionista? Let me tell you. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a couple different types of fashionistas okay. out there. Okay. Okay. So it's it's kind of a broad category. You've got the scantily clad. Okay. You mean? Scantily clad yes. are the ones that you know. So we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, it's like porno. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Sorry. right it's right before when they have it's their like clothes right on. Before porno. Right before <laughs> things happen. That's where, happening there though. Where the Chad comes in. Bro. The Chad comes Chad in. Chad swoops, he goes. <laughs> Hey, my dad. Owns I didn't a think we were going to be able to connect those two, <laughs> and I'm so glad that we did. Such a smooth transition. And then the facts. Chad comes in. But it's facts. Yeah. <laughs> With that, we've got the Kentucky. The, the Kentucky. Jesus Christ. Sponsored by Donald Duck. The Kentucky Derby, okay? <laughs> so, it's the bitches with the big hats. Let's be honest Buzzing. about it. Yeah, it's like, you got a big hat, you got cool style, like, maybe you got cool hair. Who you knows? You got big tits. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just be honest what you're saying. Like, that's really <laughs> well, normally the Kentucky Derby, you're rich. And then we've got the golf look, which yes. is like the girls that, like, you know they play golf, but they want to look cute, but they also want to be, like, respectful for the Correct. sport. Correct. Right, and then we got the chill look, which is like they look fucking cool. These girls are wearing Jordans. They've got like dope style, like maybe that, a butt cheek showing, but maybe not a crazy. butt cheek, not crazy. Can you think of any other categories? I put an etc on here. Well, the only other category is naked, and uh, <laughs> that only you know, happens sometimes. But I will tell you, there are women that I see walk around this golf tournament that are very close to that. I'm so glad that you said that. So I have a story. There are. There are. And this story goes back. it's hard to believe. It's like, where's the cops? I thought I was the (laughs) only one that have ever witnessed this. Yes. So when I went back in college, which we're going back, fuck. Where's college? Grand Canyon University. Oh, GCU? Yeah, good old GCU. GCU, baby. Woo! With that, I go to a golf tournament with a bunch of guys. And, you know, sometimes you can get away from the group at times. Sure. Like, go into the restroom, and then you're so drunk you don't realize where you're at. Where, where are And we? then there's a million people, and you're like, hang on a second. My friends were right here a second ago, and yet they're just like 50 yards to the left, but you never turn left. So, all of a sudden, I'm looking at this hill. Yeah. And one of the best things ever, folks, is that we have a thing called dormant Bermuda. Okay. Oh God. Dormant Bermuda oh God. is what you see as like the brown kind of tan looking grass. The you got all grass. the great green grass on the golf course. This is the shit. But shitter. some of these hills, they and I, I will give them credit. They yep. started to realize this was a real thing when the <laughs> caddies started telling them about it. And they started growing actual, like, they started overseeding the hills. That's so funny. But the dormant Bermuda, because it's dead grass, and these hills, they have slopes. These are like 45-degree oh, slopes. Yeah. And there was a real thing to where a girl, I saw a group. There was three of them. Two of them must have been athletes, one of them not. So... One of them, all of a sudden, they had they all were wearing stilettos, oh, no. and they had these like summer dresses on when it was way too cold for that. All of a sudden, you see the two kind of stumble, yeah, yeah. but the one went full down. Yeah. That dress went over her head, and I swear to God, yeah. I will put my hand on a Bible and swear to it. <laughs> there was nothing, nothing underneath. No, I, I mean it was full bare. Titties there, and it was like I mean, as as a college guy and looking for your friends, never. Moral of the story: I never looked to the left fifty yards to see where my friends were. I just sat there and it's watched fantastic. in astonishment. And oh, then, Lord. the best part is that last year I asked Bobby, who's caddied there for twelve plus for years, sure. and I go, Bobby, have you ever seen such a thing? He goes every fucking yeah, year. Sure he goes. <laughs> He's yeah, like, sure have. Yeah. He's like, it's dis- I bet he did. It's disappointing though that they're growing actual like they're overseeding, yeah. so this doesn't happen. Right. So I mean, <laughs> oh please God. feel free to share what. Oh no, <laughs> man, like, look, this tournament. If you haven't been here, 
you will see sights and sounds that you can't readily uh, correlate to a golf tournament. We're beyond golf at this yeah. point. This is just if if there was a people watching event that you need to be at, fuck the golf. This is it. This is it. You won't. You will see some of the craziest shit you've ever seen in your life happen at this tournament. And it is beautiful. It's like art. We love it. I, we love. I it. go every year. We love it. I can't stop. Why would you? It's like an addiction. Yeah. So, one of my favorite tournaments. You, you want to okay, go? These guys are being a little over the top. No. This sounds crazy. No. No, we're not. Not. No, a we're not. If you fly out here. Yep. If you make the trek. One hundred percent. And you show up, and even if you buy GA tickets, which is for Saturday press, sold out. That means that there are so many fucking drunk people. People are gonna die. Somebody might die this year. God, it's never. Could... It hasn't happened yet. You... Or they covered it up. Anyways, <laughs> moving along. So. <laughs> No, so it's a fashion show. So here's the thing. If you like fashion, you got to show up in like a legit outfit, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. I don't, was that it? I like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, hey. Hey, Bob Bunk. Mm. You, you have a drink. <laughs> Goddamn right, folks. And by the way, this ends. Pull hook golf the podcast and with that the butt, is it, folks. Peace out. Yeah.